Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. And from the team sheet, we derive that they are going with a 3-4-3 formation, Jim. Yeah, it's one of these systems, Peter, where the front three are obviously the headline makers, but the back three have considerable responsibility and pressure on them. So a strong voice is needed to keep everyone switched on to their defensive duties. Everybody has to kind of play their part in getting behind the ball at times. And it's not always done because the focus is very offensive. There's the whistle, and here we go. Just brushed off the ball there. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looking to break out here. Defence has got rid of that. well to intervene and dispel the growing danger and the ball is out of play come back to the keeper Keeper sends it forward. Hoists it forward. And that has been cleared. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Back to the keeper and try something new. Calling for him to shoot. He's gone for goal. Lacking in accuracy. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And the through ball is intercepted. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. <laughs> Reflections on the first half. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. Goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're already into the second period. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? Aimed in towards the centre. Played it short. And it's played forward. Going through. 
turns and goes back. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Up to meet it! Hoists it forward. It's found its way to him. Shot a goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. That's a foul, free kick's been given. Knocks it away. Balls come loose and the chase is on. Goes to finish! He's got away with one there. Battles to win it back. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. And helps available out wide. And there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. He's through the middle. Big chance! Oh, what about that? Save the best for last! Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. But there's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. So we have our breakthrough. Out towards the flank. Walk forward. What does he try from here? And the referee brings it to a close. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? It's a poor result. They offered very little goal threat, and it's the kind of unproductive performance that can drain confidence pretty quickly.